welcome back to No Recipe Required. Tonight we got a, a chicken recipe for you that I think you're gonna love. It's very cool, very catchy name, chicken under a brick. Now, I'm not a mason. Mason? I'm not in the masonry, how about that? Anyway, I don't have a brick. What I've got is a, a really large, heavy cast iron skillet. Chicken under a brick really just means you're gonna kinda weigh the chicken down, so it creates a nice kinda even um, thickness. Gets done really good, it helps the, uh, or done really evenly. Gets the, uh, the skin really nice and crispy, which is one of the things I love. And it's really easy to do. You can do it with almost any kind of weight that can withstand a little bit of heat. Super easy. I'm going to show you how to um, butterfly a chicken because I'm going to do a half a chicken under brick. No reason why you can't do the full bird. And uh, I'm also going to do mine on the grill. Again, no reason why you can't do this inside. Use the same techniques, the same philosophy. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on our chicken under a brick for that recipe, obviously. You need a chicken, and what we gotta do here is butterfly the chicken to open it up. And so I flipped it over, breast side down. I got kind of my biggest, heaviest knife here, um, chef knife, and there's a, uh, there's a backbone running right along the, uh, well, along the back, shockingly. And so we wanna just go through and take out that backbone. So, you know, about an inch off of center, and you gotta use a little bit of pressure to kind of cut through that rib cage on one side, backbone's right here, so now we're gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. A little bit of pressure. And I also usually keep kind of my kitchen shears because that can help cut through some of these fibers as well. And then, um, you know, backbone, you can throw that in the freezer, you can make stock with it, you do all kinds of great and wonderful things. And then once you get that backbone out, you essentially have your, um, your uh, chicken butterfly, and it's good to go. You can also have the chicken by just cutting kind of right through the, um, the breastplate right here in the middle. Again, same technique. Put your knife there, give it a good whack, a little bit of working, and then you've got half chickens. So that is how to butterfly a chicken. You'd leave it together if you wanted to butterfly. But for this, um, chicken under brick, we're essentially just going to cook half chickens just like this. Alright, so for our chicken under a brick, or maybe half chicken under a brick, we're going to season just like um, we do any normal chicken, salt and pepper. And um, what I'm going to do with this bird, I'm going to season the other side in just a second, um, but I'm going to show you actually my brick first is actually a um, stainless steel, not a stainless steel, cast iron pan fits the uh, half chicken really nicely. You want to um, use something nice and heavy. Now, if this wasn't heavy enough, I could always put it on the chicken and then put something else on top to weight it down. You don't want, um, you know, you don't need a car on it or anything like that, right? Um, but you do want nice pressing um, on it. Now, in addition to salt and pepper, it is fall, so I'm gonna use a little compound butter here with sage in it, just sage and um, butter that I mixed together and it softened up. I'm just going to smear it all over the chicken. And I'm even going to take some and get kind of in under the skin of the breast here and just slide that butter right in there. And uh, again, same thing on the other side. We're going to salt the other side. I'm going to let the um, chicken, well the chicken's actually already come up to room temperature. You're going to let it come up to room temperature. And then we're going to salt it. Then we're going to butter it. Then we're going to go put it on a grill, which I've already put on uh, medium heat. Let's, uh, let's go out and cook this bird. Okay, so we're out here at the grill. Most of the time when I'm grilling, I want a super hot grill, but I've actually got this one kind of on medium. It's about um, 350 degrees or so. Because this kind of brick chicken, you hear just a little bit of that sizzling, is a, um, a dish where you just kind of set it and forget it. You don't want to... Um, have to move the chicken around and um, flip a bunch of times, that's kind of not the point, right? So the reason I turn the temperature down a little bit is to prevent some of those flame ups from happening, which is not what we want. Go ahead and lay the um, cast iron right over it, put it in such a way so that you can close that grill. And we're going to uh, just let this sit for about 15 minutes or so. You do have to keep an eye on it to make sure it's not flaming up. If it is, go ahead and turn down the heat. and. Um, We'll be good to go. All right, so the chicken has been going now for about 12 minutes or so. Now, admittedly, I've been a bit absent-minded, so 
This is going to be my first look at the chicken as well. I've been trying to keep the grill. I tried to keep the grill at around 325, 350. And it looks pretty darn good. You'll notice you get kind of more of those grill marks when you do this kind of um, brick chicken. So I got this side done. We'll go ahead and take a quick temperature read. If you got one of these instant read thermometers, they are pretty damn awesome. So I got like 115, 116. Probably going to need another 12, 10 minutes or so. Maybe just under 10 minutes. On this side, we're going to recover that chicken. We're only going to flip it once. This is going to be it. So I'll come back in about 8 minutes or so and um, give it another temperature check. Alright, so it's been another 8 minutes or so and this is literally just the second time I've lifted up that lid. We got nice, beautiful, golden brown skin. We'll go ahead and give it one more temperature check. You want to go right into the thickest part of the meat. And we're up to 150. Maybe test the thigh here just in case. That one's even a little bit higher. So, you know what? I know this is going to be done in about another two minutes or so. Then I'll take it off the grill. And it's super important to let it rest for at least seven or eight minutes before we cut into it. All right, so after our, let's serve it up that way. After our brick chicken rest, you can go ahead and serve it up whole like I'm doing. I got a little couscous salad on the side. Or obviously cut it up as you'd like. I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required. So who knew that chicken under a brick could be so easy? Who knew that you could do it without a brick? Go ahead, use whatever it is you need. Now, if chicken is your thing like it is my thing, I urge you to try out whole roasting a chicken. I've linked some of my absolute favorite roasted chicken recipes here. I do one at least once a month and or I should say, if chicken breasts are your recipe, they can be boring. Check out though my five most unboring chicken breast recipes out there. I think you're gonna love them and I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.